Hi friends and welcome back to another clean and decorate with me. My name is Katie Satilli. If you're new here, I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday and I would love to have you subscribe if you are new here. Make sure you turn the bell notifications on so you won't miss out on any of the fun videos coming up. Today's video is packed full of cleaning and decorating motivation. And especially if you live in a smaller space, I would say that this video is right up your alley. I live in a small condo in Los Angeles and we have limited amount of space, but I think that you can do the best with what you've got. And today's video is a collab with the amazing Emily Jackson. She has a new cleaning channel up and it's called Crazy Cleaning Mama and she is totally exploding and doing such a good job on this channel. You guys have got to go check her out. I'll make sure and have her cleaning video listed below. She is decorating her house for Christmas as well and she has three kids with a fourth on the way. So she has me beat by one. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, you guys will love her, so make sure you go check her out in the description box so that you can get some more Christmas decorating motivation. So I didn't end up decorating the Christmas tree in this video, but I am going to be doing a part two to the Christmas decorating. And I think I'm going to do something like how to decorate your Christmas tree, like Pinterest or something like that. So make sure that you're subscribed and stick around so that you can watch that video. It will be coming up soon. I didn't end up decorating it because the lights were burnt out, which you can kind of see. And the best thing ever happened while I was filming this video, I got a shirt from my favorite clothing store, Wendy and Wander. I'll make sure and have them linked in the description box below, but I absolutely love the shirt that they sent me. I got to pick it out and I thought it was perfect for decorating for Christmas. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, such pleasure do you bring me, oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas So now I'm just going to be wiping down all of the surfaces before I go ahead and decorate. I feel like that's like a really important step in the decorating process is just making sure everything is clean and tidy as you go along. And I am not one who can kind of like create and make a total disaster while I'm decorating. It bugs me. I don't know why, but it like messes with my creativity. So you'll see me kind of take things out and put things away and all that kind of stuff. So I'm kind of cleaning as I go along. You'll see as the video goes along, but I'd love to know in the comments if you are a disaster decorator or if you like to clean up as you go type of decorator. Oh, Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, you'll ever be unchanging, a symbol of goodwill and love, you'll ever be unchanging. So I move things around a ton when I decorate. I can't just play something somewhere and leave it there <laughs> the first time. I move things around over and over and over until it looks right and I think that that is just the best way for me to decorate at least. I rarely get it right on the first try but as I move things around and kind of figure out what looks best, that is the way to go for me. Whatever we do, we will be all right. 
these holiday wonders. Now, one tip that I do have for living in a small space and decorating in a small space is keeping things tidy as you go along. So I like to kind of pick up as I go just so that I can still see what the Christmas decorations were that I still had out and available to decorate with and I didn't get it confused with what I had just taken off of those shelves. So that is one thing that I would suggest that you kind of keep a bin nearby that you can put things in as you take them down or whatever. So you can just laugh along with me as I put up this garland. It's so funny watching me try to get it to equal out. And as I'm looking right now, you can tell that I'm just like, oh no, this is not equal or balanced. So I'm just moving it around and I will continue moving it around until it looks right. It's a magical time full of kisses. Take a walk outside and tickle the snowman's nose. Moving nimbly. You can see on the TV I was watching The Princess Switch, which is a Netflix. <laughs> Yeah, I just dropped the garland again, which is a Netflix um, Christmas movie, which I really like. I think it's super cute. And then later on in the video, I will be watching Elf, which is our tradition for decorating. Every time we decorate every single year, we always put on the movie Elf. Let me know in the comments if you do the same or what movie it is you like to decorate to for Christmas. So I picked up these pillows from Hobby Lobby just the other day and they were $20 each but of course the amazing Hobby Lobby has all of their Christmas stuff 50% off and oh there's my son Bentley climbing over the gate to get down and play with all of the Christmas decor but anyways so I got each of those pillows for $10 each because all of the Christmas decor decor <laughs> decorations were on sale for 50% off so it was not bad both those pillows for 20 bucks I thought was like a pretty good deal and this Noel sign I actually recently bought from Target and you'll see me get it up later in the video but I was just kind of trying to find the right height and all that stuff and then I needed to get my nails out and all that what kind of movies this one, that one, and this one, and these are nothing. Yeah. Christmas movies? Yeah. And I can promise Santa's coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. And then this bag is what brings me so much joy in my Christmas decor this year, which is I had actually never opened this bag before. Just hear me out. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I like to go to garage sales. So I went to a garage sale and found a bag full of garland and I asked how much and it was like three bucks. So I just figured it's worth it. Whatever's in this bag is worth it. <laughs> So I bought that entire bag for $3. I had never really even pulled the stuff out fully. I looked at it and I thought that looks like some pretty high quality garland. So I ended up purchasing it from the garage sale and I'm so glad that I did because you can't beat that price. I mean, that is just so cheap for garland. Garland can be really, really expensive. And I was so excited with how it turned out and just how much um, Christmas vibes it was giving me and made the house look so much more Christmassy. Christmas 
And it wouldn't be a Katie Satilli video without me talking about some red aspen nails, which I wanted to show you guys a couple of things that Red Aspen has right now available for Christmas season. So one would be these nails. They are red and they have kind of like a glitter shimmer finish on them and I have them sitting, I'm looking at them right now in my room. I have them waiting to be put on. They are press on nails, they're reusable, they last for two weeks and I'm absolutely obsessed with them. I've been wearing them for months now and I love them so much. And then also, if you are interested in getting some red lip kits, I will include those in the description box as well. I think that it's the perfect time of year to wear a pop of red on your lip and to have some fun red Christmas nails. So I'll make sure and have those links in the description box below. favorite memories from growing up are decorating with my mom for different holidays and this is something that I want to implement with my kids is letting them try and be a little bit creative and give their advice or place things certain places. Um, I used to let the kids decorate the Christmas tree and now I let them do it and then I take it all down and I redecorate it the next day because it's just a little bit too chaotic for me but I want them to still have the memories of doing it. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you think that that is just silliness or crazy. Um, I would love to hear what you do with your kids or what you did with your kids if they're all grown up and moved out of the house. Do you decorate the Christmas tree as a family or do you decorate it solo on your own so that it looks a certain way? I would love to know. And these two lanterns I actually picked up from Walmart. They were, I think, 20 or $25 each. And I absolutely love them. I wanna put them on my front porch once I get my rug for the front porch. But um, I actually have been really enjoying having them inside the house as well. I just think that they're really pretty. So next up, I am just getting all my Christmas mugs and Christmas travel mugs in the dishwasher so that I can get them cleaned and ready to go. <laughs> if you know me, you know I'm so excited for Christmas coffee. So this is a bunch of ribbon and decorations that I got from Hobby Lobby this year. I think I'm going to be exchanging them actually for some buffalo check. I really, really was excited about this plaid, but once I got it home and looked at the tree and kind of started visualizing exactly where things were going to be going, I kind of got a different idea for what I wanted to do with the Christmas tree. So like I said, make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on so that you will not miss out on the Christmas tree video that I have coming up soon. Now I'm just gonna be vacuuming with my Shark Rocket. It is definitely my favorite vacuum. I haven't pulled it out for a while because I was using the LG vacuum, 
but I figured I would pull out the shark vacuum just to make sure that I got all the tiny little things that like the glitter and the tinsel and all kinds of stuff that came off of the tree. So as you can see, Bentley has a ton of energy. He's just jumping up and down over there. I think he was super excited for Christmas. Every day he keeps waking up saying, I wonder what Santa brought us today. And <laughs> it's hard because I try to explain to him that just because we put up the decorations doesn't mean that Santa is coming today. So we're trying to work on understanding that. This is how everything turned out in my house. I absolutely love it. I have been enjoying it. My husband has been loving it too. And I hope that you enjoyed watching this video with me. Don't forget to go over and check out Emily Jackson's video from Crazy Cleaning Mama. I will have all of her channel and video information linked in the description box below. And don't forget to go check out those red nails from Red Aspen and the cute red lip kits that they have available for Christmas time. I will make sure everything's linked in the description box below. And thank you so much for joining me for another Christmas clean and decorate with me. Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm As soon as you remove that snow Whatever we do